Today, man, we're diving into WWE basic figures. Oh, I'm sorry, WWE main event figures. That doesn't even sound right, Brad. So are we supposed to call these WWE main events now? Because that's what they've always been. They've been WWE basic series. We've called them WWE basic action figures. So now that they've changed the name, if you guys were unaware, we discussed this a little bit the other day, but today we're going to dive into the entire lore of everything, and I want to know where you guys stand and what you guys think about this. So the other day it came out that Mattel is changing the WWE basic action figure line to now be called the WWE main event line, or the WWE main event series so now i guess that does mean like if you take it one by one go through every line man we do call these i guess they would be expected to be called wwe main events because if you look at the basics line before it was the we've always called them basics still will you go up to the elite collection we call them wwe elites that's it. how many elites you got look at those elites over there first we're going to take a, take a look at the elites and then you go a step above that we've always referred to ultimates as ultimates it's the ultimate edition figures you call them yeah these are the ultimates now we sound like damn shadow the hedgehog so i guess now these figures are going to be called wwe main events and i just uh, that that's a that's a too much for me brad i don't i don't think Think I'm going to be doing that. I saw a few comments the other day that were hilarious. They were saying, I'm still going to call them basics. And I think I think a lot of people are still going to call them basics. I do understand the name change, though. I like, you know, I mean, I don't think basic is necessarily like a, a harmful term or a term that's putting down people, really. I mean, you know, a lot of people tell people they're basic and they take it, you know, the wrong way. Be like, man, that's so basic or whatever the hell it is. But that, I mean, I don't really, I've never really looked at basic as a, as a put down or an insult or something like that, especially when referring to the WWE figures, because back in the day, man, WWE basic figures were the shish. And I've made a whole entire video about this, man, when everything changed. And I don't even know why it changed, but it was, it was a horrific bit. That, that video, go back and watch that video, man. I break down the lore of everything about the basic wave that changed everything. We go into the entire lore of it, which is why I wanted to get on here and talk about this here today, man, because I enjoy the discussion topic videos. We talked about the defining moments line before it came back, or we talked about it while it was coming back, and I kind of fantasy booked like some different defining moments figures, but just sitting down and doing these discussion topic videos is some things that I like to do, especially when we're referring to WWE action figures, because it's fun. I don't know if you guys are the same way. I'd like to know down in the comment section below, but I like to just sit down and rant and rave and just kind of discuss things, of, you know, and go to the community about it and go to you guys about it because you guys are awesome. I want to hear your feedback on everything. So we've talked about it before, man. We've talked about the basic way that changed it all. Basic Series 77, man. Basic Series 77 is where it all changed. And then Basic Series 78, and they had that terrible looking packaging, man. It was just not a good time, man. The basics were great, and then they changed them into awfulness. And, you know, now we're kind of entering into a new era where they combine, like, some new good things with some things that I don't necessarily like. I still want bicep cut. We know no longer have bicep cut. I think that's very annoying. I can't stand that. It just, I don't know, it makes the figure feel like a damn statue. It doesn't matter what kind of leg articulation and whatnot you give it, but if they would just bring that back, that would do wonders, or hell, even the ankle articulation, and hey, could it be that much more expensive? I know some figures do have the ankle articulation, or did they fully bring it back? I was posing my LA Knight just the other day, and I, it, it does have the ankle articulation, but some figures I don't think do have the ankle articulation, and I maybe they just pick and choose or something like that, but none Nonetheless, man, the new main event series, man, I know they've added this new articulation. This was something that was huge, man. I think that, you know, adding this new basic articulation is huge. You know, they had the damn image up there of the Roman Reigns figure and whatnot and showcasing all the articulation, which is fantastic. I think, you know, I think worldwide or across the community wide, people have really enjoyed the change that they've made to these basic figures. We discussed it back at Comic-Con. That was huge as well. But the name change, the name change, I just don't think I'm going to be getting on board with the name change. Of course, you guys could let me know down below what you guys think but if I could change what I used to say you know if I could change one thing about WWE at least it would be for the basics to go back to being basics man you used to get that bicep cut in there you had the ankle articulation you used to be able to pose these basics around I know people that used to be able to fed with these things and I know there's people out there shout out to the people that are still fedding that way yeah shout out to you guys unbelievable I don't know how you guys do it you are magicians or something like that there's no way I could do it. I don't have the patience for that right there that is unbelievable unbelievable that you guys are able to do that but WWE main event series and now like I don't know because it, we're up to what like WWE basic series 147 or something like that or 146 or something like that I think I think 146 is the last wave that's going to actually carry the basic name or they used to just be called the WWE series right like WWE series Mattel WWE series whatever the hell so I, I don't know I guess it's not that big of a deal but basic series 146 I do believe is the last line and then from there 
they're going into main event series. So it, does that even count? Can you even call it that? You know what I'm saying? Can you even refer to it as main event series 147? You don't get to skip the line, Brad. You don't get to go to 147 like that. You start at one like everyone else. But in all seriousness, not that big of a deal there. I, I just, I don't know, man. It's just not. Little by little, they're stripping the childhood away, man. And I wasn't a kid buying basic figures, right? You know, I, I that's not a thing. When Mattel took over the license, I was in my early teens, which makes me sick. But I remember when I first dove into collecting hardcore, like when I first got into collecting the Mattel figures big time and started collecting the line as much as I am now, basics were great, man. Again, you had the bicep articulation. It just didn't seem like they were as flat, man. It didn't seem like basics were as flat. You know, you could look at like the Neville basics. Look at the Neville basics. Look at the deco on the Neville basics. Look at the sculpting on the kick pads for the Neville basics. And then you look at, you know, a modern day figure, especially the women's figures, man. We talk about this all the time. The women's figures, just their deco is just so, I don't know, it just looks so flat to me. They look cheap, in my opinion. But basics back in the day, man, better articulation, less attire flaws. This actually came from a comment one time on a video. Look at this right here, man. SpongeHub8246 says, basics used to be so much better. This is from my What Happened to WWE Basic Figures video that I made, I think, two years ago or something like that. June 2021, which will make you want to vomit in the floor. That's almost three years ago. But basically, it was a video similar to this, but we were we were kind of looking at, we were just analyzing a new basic wave, and oh my god, there's a comment that made me laugh so hard under a Ringside Collectibles post. It was of that all-silver Rey Mysterio basic, and it says, Booyaka, Booyaka, what the F is that? Holy crap, that's hilarious. But anyways, Spongebob post up right here. Basics used to be so much better. Better articulation, less attire flaws, more unique, more accessories, broke less, easier to do action figure surgery. That last moment right there is insane because it's so true, man. Used to be able to just pop on, because I, I remember this specifically because I remember when Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy came back to the company, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be, this is how I know, this is around the time that Basics changed because when they came back, it was very close to, it either had just changed or they were about to change it because Jeff and Matt Hardy come back. Hardy boys are back and I'm freaking out because I know that we're going to get so many Hardy figures. We're going to get elites. We're going to get basics. And I knew that they would pump him out a lot. And you know, Jeff Hardy has a bunch of unique color sleeves. Well, I'm thinking, oh man, all you have to do is get the basic figures, heat up the arms, and you can switch the arms on all the new elites that we're going to be getting and you can make brand new fix-ups and attires. And they changed. The best thing about basics is the damn arms, man. They changed it to the elbow swivel, which we still deal with today unless you're Hulk Hogan the Hogan. Why can't they make every basic like that? I don't understand. Mattel crossed the line when they took away most of the basics articulation and gave them loose knee joints that feel like they're going to bust when you try to bend them. So accurate, man. So accurate. New basics. Maybe not as much as before they changed it, but before they gave us the nice thigh articulation, man, holy crap. If you even, like, touched a basic and tried to bend the knee, it didn't want to bend. It felt like it was going to snap in half, and I broke. I broke a lot of basics doing that, man. At least the legs are not straight and stiff anymore. This person says, has the quality fallen off? Nah, it's non-existent with a laughing cry face. Insane. Anyways, man, I want to know what you think of all this stuff down in the comment section below, but the, the fact remains, I'm not going to be calling a main events. Just doesn't sound right to me, man. Doesn't sound right to we'll me. We'll be for, I mean, we've always called championship showdown pack. You, you don't call them battle pack figures, you know what I mean? I mean, they're they're still basic figures because it's the type of figure that it is. And so, I don't know, they, I guess technically these are new, but since you're replacing basics, if they still had the initial basic figures and then they brought in these main event figures, and then maybe there was a difference there between basics and main event, then you could probably, you know, embrace the change there, but I don't think I'm going to be embracing that change, Bradley, because the figures are pretty much the same. It's the same thing as the championship showdowns and whatnot, but anyways, man, I want to know what you think of all of this down in the comment section below. Do you agree? Are you on board with the name change? What do you think? I will say, I, I will cap this video off by saying, basics are so much better than they were the last four or five years, man. Since that Basic Series 77, like, basics before Basic Series 77 were fantastic, and then, so for seven, it seems like every 70 series, they seem to change the formula from basic series one through basic 77 they had the same exact you know thing there wasn't really a need for change they were perfect then they make that change at basic series 77 kind of changed the way that we do things with basics and then all the way up to 145 or 146 whatever the hell which is literally 77 78 79 series 
from the original series, they change it to main event. So I guess every 70-something series, you can expect them to change basics in some way. And hopefully the next time, it won't be too, too bad, man. But anyways, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on all the lore down in the comment section below. A huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Always love and appreciate all those men over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all you guys do. Tomorrow, we got a custom tutorial style video. So if you guys are looking forward to a surgery style video coming tomorrow, man, should be fun. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and I'll see you next time.